four years, baseball for four years, orchestra for four years, SAD for one year, and prom committee for one year. His community activities include volunteer for Kane, Care for Kane, Future Wolves Football Camp, and Tabor Lutheran Church, elementary basketball referee, and the Kane Little League baseball umpire. Landon's future plans are to attend Edinburgh University and major in health and physical education. Landon Dar.
Her community activities include her employment at Sparkle. Her future plans are to attend Clarion University for medical imaging. Paige Lehman. And now Coach Dar would like to say a few words about these seniors. Coach Dar. Thank you, Mr. Spenico. So, um, as many of you may or not know or may know, um, I applied for and was offered this head coaching job late last year after beating out hundreds of applicants. Um, maybe it was fate, I don't know, but I had no intentions of, of coaching. However, I am extremely pleased that I did. Um, I started coaching these boys in fourth grade. Um, through sixth grade, and now I have the privilege of coaching them as young men when they're uh, seniors. Time flies for sure. So I want to personally thank Kate and Scott and Ricky. After uh, small hiatus, they came back. Kate hasn't played since eighth grade. Ricky and Scotty both played freshmen, and that was it. And I uh, hope you three are very glad you played this year as well. Extremely happy you came out. I want to thank Danny and Landon uh, for sticking it out all through high school and putting in all this time. I would also like to thank Landon for not quitting when he found out his dad was coaching. <laughs> so, uh, proud of you too. And with the exception of your foul shot percentage, I'm proud of all five of you. <laughs> so, quick thoughts on everybody. I want to get this rolling, but I did want to talk briefly about everybody. Uh, even though you've all been truly a joy to coach. Um, Caden. Caden loves the game of basketball. He's a very, very smart player. He probably knows the game better than I do. Uh, he will be coaching someday. And he actually coached quite a bit this year, which, which was great. Uh, lucky, luckily for him. Scotty. Scotty, Mr. Intensity. Scotty never gives up. Scotty usually out hustles most people on the court. And he is truly the spark plug that runs our team. Danny, Mr. Consistent, always ready to go in, always ready to rock, okay? You're ready all the time. Uh, works hard, and probably the most entertaining teammate we have. Ricky, tremendous athlete, kind of kid that can take control of a game. Tenacious team leader in all, almost all stats. Also a team leader in the number of times that I've yelled no when you throw up a free point. He usually goes in. Landon. Unquestionably our team leader. You've always been calm, cool, and collected, unlike your father. Uh, great role model for the younger kids coming up. You work hard, and you're the glue that holds the team together, and I appreciate that. I could talk forever, and I want to keep this brief, because we do have a game to play. But uh, congratulations to all you guys, and I will cherish our memories on the court together.
91.7 XZY, it's Kane High School Basketball. Our broadcast is made possible in part through the financial support of Soap Motors, Kane Lumber and Fuel True Value Hardware, W.E. Swanson Insurance Agency, Field Street Boots, Allegheny Eye Care, Highlander Energy, and Rich Gaps. Now, let's go live alongside for the game on the official station of the Pack Nation. from the Wolves' den. What a crazy night tonight. It's senior night. The Kane Wolves are up against the Broccoli Rovers. We have five seniors. That's their last night out with a couple of statisticians. To be honored tonight. A great atmosphere. The drum lines wound up. The stands are filling up pretty good. This is Jim Coppersmith calling. It's the first time in this seat. I got Caleb Landmuster beside me. We're going to try to co-host this together. The old coach coming back there I, for a I, few rounds. He's got all the knowledge for me. I'm just going to talk. <laughs> I, I love it. I'm happy to be here. Uh, should be a really good matchup tonight. Uh, two evenly matched uh, teams and groups. Uh, but I, we can get into analysis as we go on. Uh, but I think that the Wolves have a good opportunity to get a W on the scoreboard for senior night tonight. They're, they're sitting there. Three games under 500. They have three games left, and they're, they they could all be winnable games. You have you have tonight against Brockway. You have a tough game against Berg at home on Friday, then they travel to Cranberry on Monday night. So it'd be a great ending for them. I don't know how the seedings would go for playoffs. What they have to do to get in the playoffs. But the the team hustles. They play hard. They they really do, and uh, that's been a staple of like, this senior group. Um, and uh, the juniors and, and some of the sophomores that play as well. Uh, all throughout the time that they've played high school basketball, and really when they were in, uh, before that as well, uh, they, re they really play hard. A lot of hustle, a lot of grit, uh, a lot of love for the game, playing the game the right way, which is great. Um, as far as the benchmark to get into the playoffs, a lot of times that's 500. And, and like you said, Jim, um, three more wins gets us to 500. A lot of times there is a little bit of leeway, though, administration. The last couple of years have been a little more lax. Yeah. But in the past, Kane's, Kane's tradition was always you had to be at 500. I mean, you know, I mean, I'd like to say that that never was an issue when I was coaching, but I, I might be lying <laughs> to you. But <laughs> That's all right. The guys are there. The girls are on the border with three games to play. I think yep. they're one under 500. Yeah, correct. I think their three are also winnable games. Yep. So it would be nice to see both of them make it to the playoffs for the year. Like I said, the, Kane's not deep by any means. They've got strong athletes. Absolutely. And they, what they don't lack in what they lack in basketball skills. You know, it's just all the energy levels there. Well, right now we have about two minutes left till the buzzer. We're going to send it back to the station for a couple minutes. Back to Joe Szymanski, and so we'll send you back right now. Be back in a few. In a few. Okay. Pretty smooth. Kane Wolves basket. Now we're getting ready for the national anthem. 
We are. We'll stand up here and we'll maybe take the mics off so you can hear a little bit. We'll go from there. That works. Good evening. Welcome to the game. High School of Bulls and Denver. Tonight's contest between the Game Bulls and the Rockaway Rovers. At this time, I'm going to please stand and move your hats for the playing of our national anthem. Alrighty then. Sitting down here, getting ready for the introduction of the starting lineups. Three refs, I said, we'll get their names eventually. Jim Brum hey, Brumley's the one we recognize. Oh yeah. The other two, he already brought us lot, brought us lifesavers to make sure. If it's any bad calls, we blame the other two, and not him. So <laughs> we're covered there. No, this is this is a great crew. This is a great crew. They'll do a good job tonight. Okay. For Brockway, senior Alex Car Carlson. Number 14 is senior Brady DeMonte. Freshman Bradley Hughes. Reese Yonner, a junior. And the last one will be number 44, Aiden Greenison. For your, for your Wolf, we're going to start the seniors tonight. Corey Dar starting. Senior Caden Smith. Senior Danny Paul. Scotty Samansky. Senior number zero, Ricky Zambona. Number zero, Ricky Zambona. And senior number five. Number five, Landon Dar. So coach Kane Wolves coached by Corey Dar. Assisted by Ryan Truman. Corey elected to send the seniors out, which is only way it should be senior night for them. Make it special. It's one they won't forget. So Absol like, absolutely. Always, if you have five seniors, four seniors, always got to start them on senior night. Uh, that's always a really special moment for uh, the whole school, but really the squad in general. I think there's a nice atmosphere here tonight. The kids are ready. The fans are ready. Absolutely. It's always nice to be here in the Wolves' den. Let's see if we can take care of Brockley, take care of some business, and move on to the bird game. How's that? I think, I think they should be able to. Um, can't let uh, Carlson shoot. Um, he from had, He had up 20-something last night against St. Yeah, he's, he's really good off the catch um, if he's not – getting closed down uh, if he has open shots not not great off the bounce um, not that he can't shoot off the bounce but not great off the bounce but off the catch not being closed out he's he's going to burn you out to 22 feet i can't see the number so it's ricky zampona jumping against aiden grenison controlled by the rovers number 11 carlson bringing it down the court over to hughes back to carlson back to hughes there's only three pointer in and out in it drops in there Bradley Hughes, a freshman. Kane coming out in a matchup 2-3 zone. Landon Dar with a three off the back iron. Controller bar. Oh, there's a foul right away. And Danny Paul with a strong take inside. Something four. Let's see here. Fouls on number 44, Aiden Grinison. That's his first. Teams first. Danny Paul be at the line, probably shooting too. Yep. I'm 
first one is good. Coach uh, Dar made that in a senior announcement. He said the only thing he had against the team, he said they got to teach him how to shoot fouls better. Because <laughs> everything else he can't, can't knock for the effort, can't knock for anything they've done. That's for sure. Good start for Danny Paul. That's right. Two for two. The thing, one thing about Danny that's, uh, that's great is plays incredibly hard, always has his whole career. Uh, but if there's one thing about Danny is when he gets fouled, he's going to end up diving onto the floor, and it's going to look worse than it probably is, and always bounces Rockway back thrown out Carlson, trying to find somebody to throw it to. He's back to DeMonte. Hughes, the two freshmen in there. For, it's off of Brockway coming in. We got two freshmen in the starting lineup for him, Bradley Hughes and Aiden Wilcox. Yep. Okay, Carlson's going to bring it back in. In the DeMonte. Uh, way off on the shot. Right down, Dole's ball stolen yeah. away. Ta up and in by uh, Carlson. It's a mental mistake there. Contesting things, that's after. That's things the, King can't afford to do. Yeah. They just play solid defense. They should be ready to, should be okay, but they can't. Carlson gets an and one on there, so the foul is on Ricky Zampona, and that's what you don't want. No, that's on. Yeah, it's on Ricky. You don't want that. Unnecessary fouls. Foul shot's good by Carlson. Six to two, Brockway out to an early lead. Lane and Dar bringing it down the court for the Wolves. Back in the corner. Back to Smith, back to Zampona. Zampona's trying, he wants to go. Nope, back to Danny Paul. Hands it off to Dar on the top. Dar goes around, he's going in, let's see. Blocked and fouled. Landon got lucky, he got away yeah, he picking did. up his pivot foot. Mr. Not Drumley. complaining, I'm Mr. just Drumley saying. calls that a number 11. <laughs> That's Carlson's first foul. Second team foul for Brockway. Landon Dar will be on the line for two. First one. Off the rim. Okay, the... The two seniors are going out and coming back in is Sam Lundin and Dane Anderson. Yep. This is a normal starting five for the Wolves. They're probably going to go eight people deep tonight. Dar's second shot is good. Form looked much better on that. Um, no hesitation, no okay, no. Uh, a little pressure coming down now. Ooh. Rock easily break. Almost a double. They're off his fingers. Controlled in the corner by DeMonte. Back to Hughes. Hughes struggling right hand to the force a little bit on the left. Playing outside, pa trying to pass around. There's a drive inside and up and in. Nope, off the rim. King fight for it. Right, right, no. Good job by Good. Landon. Landon the rebound. Slowing it down, slow it down. Between the legs. Don't have to get too flashy here. Sam Lundin. Hanging in the corner. Landon over, trying to get it to Samansky. It's stolen away. Off, that's off the rovers. Scotty Smith is one I like to watch. There's yeah. anything under the basket scrappy. He's not the biggest kid out. He's stocky. He's not tall, but any rebound, he's right near it or on it. Works incredibly hard. Works incredibly hard. Very interesting to see. Brings uh, it into Dart. Coach Clark employing. Dart uh, driving up and in. Nice drive. That is a nice drive by Landon. Took the baseline and went right with it. Brockwick coming down the court in a hurry. DeMonte holds up. Launches one way out. Oh, banked in for Carlson. I'm not sure he called that one, but we're going to. They all he, count. I don't think he did, but three points <laughs> is three points. He goes in. Launched it up and banked it off the corner. Coach Clark still in a man-to-man. Uh, -man that Zampona wants inside. He's going up and in. That's a good take by Ricky. Brockway is very committed to hedging, hedging and protecting rather than any switching oh, whatsoever. All, Jack D Anderson. Oh, they get a foul on Dane Anderson on a reach. Kind of looked pretty clean, but it's hard to tell it. That's give, tough. Dane reached across his body. I don't think they need that. They, with their basic press, I think, will break break them down pretty well. Yeah. Um, I you think know, they're, they're hesitant. The dribbling is hesitant for Brockway. It's like he's going long across the court. Open. He's got it down the back. middle. 43 up and in. Russ, Reese Yarner with a basket. That was a break down the both press there. That's tough. Dar. He's, oh, he throws it away. 11 to 7, Brockway. About five minutes left. In the first quarter, good, good, fast start for the game. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Here comes Hughes bringing it down. He was only a freshman. Throws it back in the middle. Up, 
That's a number 44 again. That's Grenison. Yeah, that was actually a good contest His by first Ricky. basket. He's a big guy in there. He is. The he two is. Bigs, bigs are decently sized. Landon's bringing it down again. Let's see. Ricky's feet are dancing. He wants to go inside again. He might. Eh. Good take. Off the rim. Rebound by Carlson. He's got to come all the way, but he wants they to. He's got to stop the He's ball. going. Throws it back under the big man. No good. Carlson fighting for it. Probably got fouled. Now he did. Yep. Heard it. What'd they call? They call the technical I think on, they already uh, did. I think. Yeah, they call technical on Carlson. He think, kicked the I ball. Think, I think he thought he got hacked pretty good in there, too. Let's see what they got here. He wanted something down here. Let's yeah, he was complaining down at this end, too. The so foul was on, foul was on DeMonte, I think. Let's see here. That's too bad. This is a really good crew of officials, too. They're, they're the going to call on it. Crawford. You get fouled, they're going to call it. And the technical is on Carlson? Yeah, Carlson. So that'd be his second foul? Is that how they? Yeah, second personal foul. I don't think they can afford to lose him. He's a scorer. He's not happy about something that happened down here. I tell, I tell you what, um, with his type of game, <coughs> if I'm the other coach, if I'm Coach Dar, I would love to keep Go right him, him in his in the game right now because his, his mentally he's not in it right yeah. now. Which is unfortunate. Game, bas game of basketball is beautiful. Yep. should be fun. To get right? a technical that early in the game. Yeah. We have a long way to go here. I'm not sure what actually happened. I couldn't. He got fouled. Yeah. He definitely got fouled. No, no call. <laughs> Dar's second one is good. The ball will come to Kane. Broccoli leading 13 to 8 with 4.23 to go in the first quarter. Ricky Zampano will bring it in for the Wolves. Interested to see oh, if Coach Clark dark. employs a zone here. The lanes seem to be wide open for Kane to get in there. Szymanski fighting us. Back to Dar for a three, way long. Oh, Bankton, I don't know how he's on the floor. Yeah. Okay. Back down comes Hughes, bringing the ball down the court for Brockway. Over to DeMonte, long one. In and out, over the top. Oh. Uh, got a box out. Somebody got burned, there's a foul. Up to 43. That's He's tough. This Yonner's gonna do some work in there. They gotta get on those boards, the Wolves do. Working hard, you can't, you can't out jump for rebounds. You gotta get low, drive somebody back, and then go Kane's, get the ball. Kane's gotta work, take your time, take your time. Ricky's going long. Well, <laughs> <I'll tell you, laughs> nothing but net. That's, that's, a, that's a good shot for Ricky, uh, not forcing it. Open, in rhythm, he's off the catch. He's got an awkward looking shot, but he's accurate. Right <laughs> it is, it is. Oh, there almost looked like a walk there. Big man, oh, there's a charge they got away with. And a foul, oh, no call, just out of bounds off of Brockway. Could have called all kinds of stuff on that play. <laughs> I think you're right. I think that, uh, I think the out of bounds is uh, a way of saying, hey, you know. We don't know what to call. <laughs> <laughs> we got our life saved. We're not allowed to say anything. Right? <laughs> Here comes Dar, ringing the ball, man. Over to Scotty. Standing outside, Dane's looking. He's looking to drive. Okay, it's not stolen away. Double drill, it's a travel, I think. Yeah, it's a travel. On number 24, so went without the ball. Three minutes to go in the quarter. Brock Wenzel coming in for the Wolves. Uh, he played, for a, he played a good JV. I didn't get the final in the JV game. Kane won pretty handily. He, uh, yeah, I didn't see. I didn't see the final. Uh, Brock Brock's a solid player. Going to be a really good player for the Wolves as his career develops. Hammer hammers nails. He, Here's the shot by Sam Lundin. He kind of he kind of took charge of that JV game. It was just he does whatever he wanted to do. He pretty much could do. He do, he does a good job handling the ball. Like I said, he hammers nails um, and and can really shoot the ball. I'm kind of blocked here by Mr. Grumley. He's, now, <laughs> now he's a, Landon's trying to drive around. He's stuck in the corner. Good use. Got it outside. Jab Take your time. Ricky, Ricky just got a walk, I think. Yes, yeah, he did. Yeah, picked up his pivot. Trying to force a little much. Just take your time. That's the one thing. As much as I uh, hate with all of my existence the fact that there's no shot clock in Pennsylvania, there is. You, you played Ridgeway enough. <laughs> <laughs> there isn't one, so there's never any reason to rush if you don't yeah. have to. Okay, back to throw it all the way across court. Uh, there's a three-pointer by Mr. Mr. Demonte. That's his first one there. Now I gotta say, he's uh, the one of the few seniors on their team, though. And with Demonte, his his form is. Uh, Dart Zampona <laughs> launching another one. I don't know, way up hard. Who's that? Uh, that's Dar way up for yep. the rebound. Landon got it's coming the all the way across court to Dean. He's going tipped away. Now Lundin's got it up top. Just to be patient, look for that opening. It'll come. Looking out there, Darv. Here comes Ricky's. Hit Dane. Good, Dane. Paul through the middle. Oh, no call. 
Had it blocked down. Here comes Hughes back up the court for, for Brockway here. Back in the corner. Another launch. Here we go. Well, another big three by Brady DeMonte. He's he's not hesitating, which is 21 great. 21 to 11, Brockway. And, and Coach Dar calls a timeout. Great start for Brockway. I got to say, I'm, I'm impressed by the lack of hesitation by DeMonte. Uh, he felt that one. And the first one went, nothing went in in either one of them. Absolutely. It, 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 uh, kid's obviously a rhythm shooter. Um, feeling it right now. I think they jumped on St. Mary's early, too, big yep. time. Second quarter was about even. The third quarter, St. Mary's made their comeback. Maybe it's just the depth of Brockway. I mean, they're, well, apparently, they're, they're young. Yeah. Two, two they're, freshmen they're, and a sophomore start. They're young, and what happened, I talked to Coach Clark a little bit before the game, just catching up with him, and St. Mary's has a couple, uh, have, they have a couple senior guards that are that are real good. They can, they can control the game, and a lot of times in high school basketball, and in basketball in general, the best players on the floor at the end of the game really end up taking yeah. over, and that happened in the fourth quarter last night. I don't know about the depth of Brock either. They just wore down a little bit. It's hard to Probably. tell. Probably. I mean, okay, even, their bench is about even tonight. Though. Yeah. As far as who's going to play. Yeah, Anderson definitely. bringing it up the court for King. Over to Ricky. It's set by Stamanski. Had an open lane there. Couldn't get it to him. Anderson. Back to at least 2-3 by the Rovers. Scotty went up, but he got hacked by one of those big, <laughs> big one of the bigs. I'm gonna guess it's 44. Let's see. What <laughs> 44. That's his second. Second. Okay. It's a fourth team foul on Brockway. Scotty Samansky at the line. First one. Looks good. It's up and in. <laughs> Scotty's first point of the night. 21-12. One more coming for Scotty. Got to commend Scotty on his form. It looks a lot more consistent than it had at the start of the season. Second one, up and in. There you go. Really nice follow through. Yep. Rockway with a sub coming in. Number three, this is Vinny Cavallini. Another freshman. Another freshman. He's a little guy too. He's like, yeah. Okay. He, oh, or something, what they call here? Looks like that's probably going to be just going to say off. Lost of the, it. Just lost a handle. Dane was in, the, in there. Held his, held his space. Dane did a good job of doing what um, I always like to do on the press, which is you want to make the, the offensive guy ground, make, yeah. a, make a mistake. You, you just want and, them to make a mistake. That's what you want. Yep. Ricky looking to drive. He wants to be inside. <laughs> <laughs> I think Coach Dar so wants Ricky inside, too. Going. He, nice drive by Scott. That's a good take by Scott. You don't see him do that too much. Usually he gets the garbage baskets yeah. underneath. That's a nice, they don't expect that. Another freshman, he's coming down the court. And Perry got around Dane, he's going to cover them. He's going all the way. Up and in. Is that Hughes? Hughes. Good ball yeah, handler. Was, yeah, that was Hughes. And we're back, Danny Paul back in now for the Wolves now. Over to Ricky. Good Inside to Danny. Danny. Up, up. No good, off the rim, good try. That was a real good cut, real good pass by Ricky. Okay, Hughes coming down the court with him. 23-15, 26 seconds to go in the quarter. Dane should pressure him a little bit more. He's like, there he's doesn't, they're, I think they're tentative out there with the wall. He wants to go in again. Oh, oh he almost, get a, he did get a steal. Scotty's coming in. Up and in, Scotty Szymanski, good hustle, good steal. That was a great defensive Six play. Six points for Scotty tonight, here we go. Seven seconds. Another pick, Dane almost got another one. He's out of control. Can they get rid of it? Oh, they got a foul. It only 1.1 second. That's going to be a, a 20 on Hughes, 24. That's his first. Team's fifth. We got 1.1 second left in the quarter. Dane turn and launch. Oh, off the rim. You want to read this? Yeah. Uh, we would like to thank our friend to the Wolf Pack. Get your name on this list, drop off your $10 donation at the Photo and Sound Shop, or you can also donate via PayPal at WXZYRadio.com. Without your support, we wouldn't be able to bring you these games to you as a listener. Our friends are Ron and Karen Cardi, Jim and Ginny Coppersmith, Tyler and Katie Smith and family, Rita Gravel, Joe and Allie Sackler, Larry and Peg Anderson, Linda and Keith Regal, Laura and Tom Rich, Kit Craig and Debbie Wenzel, Kane Day School, Steve and Marcy Bizak, Patty, Scott, and Heather Gould, Rick and Carrie Zamboni, 
Basil and Francine in Prato, John and Christy Dawn, special thanks to them for their generous donation, Jack and Linda Hedlund, Ernest Minster, Emily Truman, Charlie and Paula Amuso, Peter Amuso, and Rod and Anita Danielson. All right, nice job there. Okay, 23-17 at the quarter. Leading Brockway, Carlson has six, DeMonte has six, Hughes has five, Yonner four, Grinison two for the Wolves. Scotty Szymanski, unusual, he's leading the way with six here. Yes. Ricky Zampona has five, Landon Dar four, Danny Paul two for a total of 17. I would, I would look for Coach Dar um, off of a made bucket to come out in maybe a three-quarter press, give them a little pressure on their ball handler, handlers. They're not... They're a little inexperienced. I think that a little pressure could uh, okay. disrupt Ricky's them. Ricky's got the ball. Here we go. All cross court inside. And yes. to Samansky. He's fouled by Carlson. That's Carlson's third. That's not going to be not That's, that's for hurting them. for Brockway. He's walking off very slowly. <laughs> I think he knows his, his minutes are numbered for the rest of the Yeah, half, I, think I think you're right. Scotty oh, off the rim. So he's replaced by, let's see, who's moved in here? Three's in, 14's in. DeMonte. DeMonte's been in, 52. Wilcox, yep. the new guy. He played on the JV team. He did. Szymanski's second shot. That looks better. It looks good. Right in there. Seven points for Scotty. 23-18. Brock having trouble getting the ball in. Ball inside. It's almost. Can't tell. It's That's off the hustle. Wolves, I think. Oh, yep, still with, the, still with Brockway. This is a smart move by Coach Dar. Um, this, the team with the, their ball handlers right now are going to ball have, handlers on the bench. Yeah, they're going to have it's a lot of one difficulty of the with two. this pressure. He's got one guy that's going to bring the ball down the court. It's Hughes. He's, Lundin's on him. Coming in the corner. He's looking. He's looking. Nobody seems to be moving to the ball, though. Dumps it off to, to Vinny Cavallini. It's back to Wilcox. Wilcox going to launch a three. Banks it in. They go in, they go in. Well, and Dar bring it up for the Wolves. Hustle, Lundin. Ooh, Sam's got to look at the hoop. He's looking into Sam. He's looking at Land, threw it away. He saw Szymanski cutting, but there was a broccoli guy in between them. He did. Okay, back down by Hughes, bringing the ball down the court. Over to Vinny Cavallini. He's looking to throw it. He's covered by Dar. Way outside to Wilcox. Wilcox thinks he's going to drive. He wants to go. Almost a walk. He did get he a was. call for a walk. He played He played a lot of the JV game. But worked he's a, hard. He's another freshman. Yeah, worked real hard. Okay. Zampona brings it into Dar, bringing it down the court. Under seven and a half. Dar slowing low. He's driving. He's inside. Up. Oh, good take no, by Landon. Rim, fighting for it. Rebound by Hughes. Hughes brought it down. It's a good effort. He got in there. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good take by Landon, but we have to, uh, the, the Wolves have to get in there and put a body on somebody. Oh, we got a foul, I think, on Zan Cohen. Let's yep. see here. 43. Yonner is going to the line. Ricky Zampona with his second. I don't want to see that happen. Okay. Cavallini bring it inside to Hughes. Down in the corner, covered by Dane Anderson. Dane, he's, a little, he's doesn't look quite as strong with the left hand. He's moving the inside. It's almost a steal. Good nope. hands by Landon. Got Brockway got it back. Inside the big guy. He's going. Nope. Could be a three seconds. You know, nothing called. Another walk for number 52. Wilcox. Trying to do a little too much. I think so. I think he figured he must have to pick up the slack with a ball hand. Look at this one. I think you're right. Okay, here comes Dar. Bring it up slowly. I'd look for Kane to get into he's the high post. By Hughes. There's a set by Szymanski. Ricky wanted to go. He is going. To, he's up. In the end. That's a good shot. Good take by Ricky. Good decision, too, to pump fake instead of actually take the shot and then get past. Okay, here's Hughes. They're slowing it down. He's having trouble getting it. Anderson's tough on the floor. Oh, a little pull. Push out. He's going all the way. I uh, got the tough. foul on Dane, I think. Yep. Dane was riding him. Gave him the second push. That's always going to be a Second foul on Dane. Always going to be a block. That's a 15 foul for the Wolves, being bounded by the Brockway. Cavallini bringing it in, gets it inside. Big Bang's forcing up, no, nothing there. Maybe a little, little contact, but there's a run. 
Lundin up and in. That's a good take by Sam. Good pass by Ricky. That's where this team's going to be successful, is running the floor immediately looking 22 up. 22 Brockwick. Cavallini's driving on Dar. Outside to Hughes. Hughes is coming. Holds it up. Looked into the big mine again. They're, they're all there. I think they, they know Brockley wants to go inside. It's yeah. a one of the long pass. Ricky all the way cross court to Dar. Pulls it up. Launching a three. No good. Tipped out. Zampona pulled down. He turns. Hard off the rim. Zampona again. No good. There's a pile up. Samansky, there's no foul. No, no call. Here comes Hughes. He, let's, oh, and one on the floor. Let's see here. No good. There's a big man block. Oh, the, we're going to get physical here I now. Tell, I tell you what, Kane, <laughs> Kane's going to be Kane's going to hemorrhage points if they complain about fouls on one end and don't get back on defense. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of contact on both ends. Yeah, of course, that's a it's, this is a game of basketball. They're getting closer sport. to the playoffs. You got to get them prepared <laughs> of here. Of course. Okay, the ball's been brought in by Hughes. Can't get it into the, into the big man. Throws it away. It's all oh, down the court. That's Danny Paul Danny right Paul's there. On the Danny run. Paul's right there. He got fouled. No call. Oh, off the rim. Oh, no call. He's okay, he was on the floor. It. He was coming down. They're going to let him play a little bit. I Mr. guess they are. Mr. Grumman, I'm going to give his lifesaver back here. <laughs> <laughs> here it goes over to DeMonte. Inside to the big guy. Oh, up and in by 43. That's a yawner. He's had some tough inside. He has. He's a big boy. He's a uh, uh, good footwork, solid. He's got nothing size-wise to compare to him. We just go with the athletic ability. Like yeah. Zampona up and over the top, but he falls short. He's got That's a good rebound. rebound by Zampona. Goes long. Danny Paul hustling. There's another. Here he is. That. Here's it. Grenison pulled that one down. Comes Hughes down the court for Brockway. 28-22. Brockway leads. 4-16. Oh, look like a carry. But there's nothing there. Back to Grenison. He wanted to. He wants to. In the corner. Off a foot, and I think it's gonna go. Oh, good hustle by. Good hustle Anderson. by Danny Anderson. Anderson. Oh, they're still just they're letting him play. Oh yeah, they're <laughs> letting him go. <laughs> Hughes is going, and he's up and in. He could have called over everything on that yeah. one. Yeah. That, that Hughes, that was Del Monte. Who was that? That was Hughes. That was Hughes again. Okay, Dar back to Zampona. Oh, that's a good. That's a good Dar look by. Off the rim. That's a good look by. Ricky. He wants to. He wanted a foul. <laughs> They're letting them play. Everything, everything goes right now. Yeah, yeah, they're letting them go. Okay, here's Hughes outside. Covered by Dane. Scotty Samansky just got rocked back. He here. did. No call here. There's a foul on. That's on Scotty, I think. Yeah, that was on the floor. Coming out with a call. It was. I think that's a. Okay, Brockley brings it again. 16 fouls apiece right Look now. Look for this ball to go back to Hughes. There's somebody in the corner. Let's see what it Grimmer, he's, they're shot in the corner. Covered up. Oh, he's, I guess not. He's driving. He's driving baseline. Up, up, up. Off and in. Dar just got fouled by <laughs> He did. <laughs> that Wilcox is. I tell you what, that's a good. Um, baseline's usually death is, is usually what coaches teach. Uh, but that was a that was a good awareness by Wilcox. You've got to think how young these guys are. I mean, they're playing aggressively for freshmen. There's no a couple more years of this. You know, they could be right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're, they're, they're definitely not, not scared. They're not backing down, not at all. Guards at the foul line for a one and one. It's a bonus situation for the Wolves. Okay, needs to capitalize on these. Uh, definitely. Dar's first shot, no good. Paul way up for the rebound. He got fouled. Good rebound again by, Danny. by Wilcox. Okay, Danny Paul's hustling. He doesn't get a whole lot of minutes, but he's been really no, working he's, tonight. He's been working. He's been working super hard, and and his whole career, um, you know, Danny, Danny really gives that effort, that 100%. Anytime, whether he's getting five minutes or 25 minutes, he he gives it all. He's got that part down pretty good. He does. Three for three from the line. I also have to say, throughout the years, Danny has been one of the uh, the kids with the best shoe game uh, throughout throughout the program. The shoe game. Shoe game's great. Off the rim, who's coming? Brockway pulls the rebound down. Okay, here we come. Hughes has the ball. Three minutes, just over three minutes to go in the half. I am surprised Hughes. that uh, Coach Dar isn't on Mr. Grumley about 
any carries going on right yeah, there, now. There seems to be a lot, especially with the left hand. I there are. I, that's a pet peeve of mine through cross basketball, but it's okay. Yeah. At least he's consistent with it. So he's, yeah. there's, a, there's a steal by Landon. That's a great He's got a breakaway with Grinnerson on his heel. Nice fake by Dar up and in. Great. Landon Dar with the Rajon Rondo. He stopped I love and it. and kept going. It's like, I love it. That's a great move. Wolves down by five. He was covered by Anderson. <laughs> it's, it's almost an old. Well, it was close. It wasn't there he's yet. He's dry. He's going. Tipped away. Danny Paul, another big rebound. Lundin tipped it. Danny Ball got the rebound. Good hustle. Dane's pushing. Behind his back. Oh, there's a foul right there <laughs> on Hughes. That's his second. Good hustle by Dane. Good yeah, one. it was great. That's And that's where the Wolves are going to be successful, causing chaos on the defensive end, getting after every 50-50 ball, and making sure that's, the other team is uncomfortable. That's what they do best. Yep. That's what they Okay, Scotty's getting a breather. Danny Paul, well-deserved breather. Ricky comes in. And let's see. Uh, Brock Wentzel, Brock Wentzel, Wentzel just well. came in. There we go. For 11. There's one for Dane got his first point of the night there. Brock's pretty slippery off the ball, too. Look for Brock to get open against this zone if they go back to the 2-3. Um, we should see some, uh, some three-pointers from us. Remember last year's JV, so Dane put up a lot of points from the Dane outside. did. Dane, Dane did his thing. He, he averaged about 20 a game last yeah, year for JV. We're back to Grainerson. Let's see. Long shot. <laughs> Wilcox. <he's> Wilcox isn't <laughs> afraid. He wants it. Lundin's moving. He's moving. He's looking for Dane. He's going up. Good. Nice drive by Sam. That's a good take by Sam. Call that the Mayflower. That that's coast to coast. Coast to coast. <laughs> Into Grainerson. Let's see here. Going to bring it back out to Cavallini. Down the corner. Let's see. Wilcox wants the ball. He, like, he does. There's a little movement of the foot there. Okay. Back to Hughes. Hughes, Hughes inside of the big guy. He's going in. That's tough. Hard turnaround. That's, that's tough. Yonner, another inside move. That's all his points are right there under the basket. I tell you, I'd look after halftime. I'd look. I think Coach Dar is probably going to talk to Ricky about maybe either not fronting him, but maybe going half. He's uh, not moving a lot. He's just his right to got the position. Yeah, behind. and he's so big. You Dar, know, it's way it's hard out, to get him without short. fouling. That was kind of a I don't know. Not a rhythm get, shot. No, you got to take a little better than that one. Yeah. He was bringing it down. Broccoli up by four with just over a minute to go. Looks like another. Oh, there's almost a steal by Lindy. Got it that's back. A good, that's a good. Almost another one. There, Stam's hustling. He is. There's four inside. There's a good work. Oh, what do they call it? They're giving it to Brockway. They're saying yeah. soft land to Dar. Good work in the corner by the Wolves' defense. So. It was good. It's a good gamble by Sam. Um, it's a real good gamble Two different by Sam. passes he almost cut. Okay, Brockway. Hughes will bring it in. 56 seconds left in the half. Moving What's screen by here? 44. He's calling something different. We'd one Dane Anderson? What did he call him? Oh, there? technical on technical Dane. Technical on Dane Anderson. We don't know what was going on. He's talking to Coach Dar with that one. If that technical counts as a foul, that's his third then. My guess is Dane got tripped up. I thought it was a moving screen. Uh, not egregious or anything, but I'm sure – I love Dane to death. Dane. That's my guy, but I'm sure he was right by the ref. Might have said something as he got <laughs> caught on that screen. He gets emotional in there. Yeah, he, he does. He does. Kind of like the days of your days. Like hey, that. you know, you know I, 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 was, I was a passionate guy, you know, from time to time. But uh. <laughs> That's the idea of the lifesaver. Yeah, right? you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wilcox, he's had a chance for – he's got one. There we go. And I, I tell you, this, this, um, this Wilcox is um, – I'm impressed by his the moxie that he's showing on the court. Not not afraid at all to go up against these athletes. Not somebody that nice, D9's nice going to want to deal with uh, moving forward. That was two Kane didn't need there. That technical kind of hurt. You never want a technical. You know, that's the thing. You, al you always want to play within the game. Um, you always want to try to stay within yourself. That's always a tough okay, move. Okay, going to bring it in. Let's see who he goes to. Looking back here to Del Monte. He's going to bring it down. Covered by Szymanski. Back to Hughes. Looking for a uh, bypass. That's Wilcox. smart by uh, Hughes. Once he threw it away. There you go. He's, he had the guy cut, and the guy went the opposite direction. Saw so Sam once he came over. Sam was denying once uh, um, okay. Wilcox we'll got into in. the slot, uh, which is which is really good. He he can get back. Okay, Brock from back brings cut. it in here. Landon's bringing up the court. Thirty-six seconds left in the half. Wolf's down six. 
Oh, big that's drive by Samaeus, or by Dar. He uh, got fouled, I do believe, by Grindison. I think that's going to be on the floor. 44? Oh, I guess we're in the double bonus. We're double so bonus. Let's see. I here. thought we were still in the one and one That's, that's Grindison's third. So I think I think with him and Carlson both have three fouls. Yep. That's not going to be. Dar's going to shot. There's a basket's good. Raymond's <laughs> got seven. Another one coming. Okay. Vinny Cavallini coming in. For, no, not yet. They're not going to let him in. <laughs> he thought he was coming in. Sent back, why to, they the, sent him back. back to the bench. Maybe after the shot. Let's see here. Dar rolls it up and in. Now they're going to let him come in. Oh, yeah. He's going out. Cav or, uh, Grinison's going out. I think Landon would call that a shooter's roll. Yeah, I would say <laughs> all the rim. <laughs> okay. Little Vinny bringing it in the ball. Okay, he's got it to Hughes. They're trying to trap Hughes down deep. They're pressuring him both all over the place. They oh. get a bump foul into the foul. That's a travel. They're going to they're call nothing. What are they going to call? Grumley's calling it Kane's ball. Kane ball going the other I think way. He got tripped up a little bit in there. That's that's the thing is that I, this I, is the first one. The second was a bump. <laughs> <laughs> the third one was on the floor. Looked like a trip, but it was like Sam. Sam definitely uh, hit him with the block, and we got. I think we got a little lucky there. Got the call. <laughs> Sam says, "I want this one. I just, I can feel it." Right there. <laughs> Tell you what, I got to, I got to set the steal and take the. Came down to it. They're gonna throw it. Oh geez! Oh, what a hustle! Hustle. Oh, but he booted out of bounds. that. Good hustle. Be Sam, 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 Sam dove through it. Sam showing right he's the best athlete on the Brock court. Brock went flying into the bleachers. It. That it's is a, great. Good hustle by the Wolves. 1.9 seconds left in the half. Well, has he pulled Kane's up got Jimbo. energy right now. They're, Love it. They're playing all the They're going to go deep. And it's tipped away, but they're not going to out jump Ricky. Oh, my That's goodness. That. <laughs> That's great. Love it. Love Ending the intensity. Ending for 34-32. <laughs> Brockway at the half. Good energy in the game. Yeah. This, Excellent competition. This turned into a great game, I got to say. We're good. We're good. I think we're probably going to – let's see where we got. We're ready to send you back for a couple minutes, and then we'll go with that. We'll be back in a few minutes. i get some stats for you and see what we can do. Sounds great. Back to the station. Basketball on 101.7 XEY is supported by these great sponsors. Allegheny Eye Care, providing eye exams along with additional coverage for eye and health situations in both of their Kane and Smithport locations. They can be reached at 814-837-7880. Field Street Boots, 18 Field Street in Kane. A dealer for Carhartt and Timberline clothing as well as winter footwear and sporting goods. They're on Facebook under Field Street Boots. Highlander Energy of Kane, an industrial contractor specializing in the power, petrochemical, natural gas processing, pulp, and paper industries. HighlanderEnergy.com. Kane Lumber and Fuel, True Value Hardware. Building supplies, light bulbs, winter snow and ice removal products, and more. Hemlock Avenue in Kane. Rich Gas of Kane, providing a wide array of propane gas services, including delivery and installation, with automatic refills and flexible payment options. Online at richgasinc.com. W.E. Swanson Insurance Agency, offering policies for vehicles, homeowners, and business insurance at 23 Fraley Street in Kane. W.E. SwansonAgency.com. Zook Motors, with new and pre-owned vehicles and a service and parts department. ZookMotors.net. We thank these great sponsors, as well as our friends of the Wolfpack supporters, for helping to bring Kane Wolves basketball to 101.7 XZY. WXCYLP Kane. Listen on your smart speaker. Tell your Alexa device, Alexa, play WXZY. I'm Ed Rose, and this is a special edition. I'm Ed Rose, and this is a special edition of Citizen Kane. Today's program, available only on 101.7 WXZY Radio, remembers the great pop bottle shortage. In the mid-1950s, hilltoppers were slugging down soda pop at a record pace. Local bottling companies sprung up throughout the region to keep thirsty cane residents in steady supply of Dr. Pepper, 7-Up, 
hires Coca-Cola and every other sugary, fruity, bubbly concoction that marketers could conjure up. Pop tasted better then, the old timers said. There were no plastic bottles or aluminum cans and a 16 ounce Coke bottle was as heavy as a brick. There was room enough in the local pop market to support several local bottlers, including Hire's root beer operator, Smokey Flieger. Demand was high, vending machines became commonplace, and new products like Pepsi and Orange Crush became popular practically overnight. Despite booming sales, the pop industry was ready for a fall on the hilltop. By 1960, local pop merchants were plagued by vanishing bottles, claiming that more than 12,000 had been sold and had never returned. Despite passing along deposit fees to their customers, this weak link in the supply chain brought bottlers to the brink of insolvency. The Kane Republican is full of liner and display ads from this era promising cash and other swag to kids to mobilize their efforts to alleviate shortages. The Dr. Pepper bottling plant offered two cents for all Dr. Pepper hires and Circle A bottles and five cents for large hires bottles. You could get cash plus a free comic book with ten bottles returned to the company's commons plant at the rear of Fraley Street. Retailers like Vinci's Grocery and Austin's and Walker's Dairy also accepted bottle returns from kids, often in exchange for a pocket full of penny candy or a pack or two of baseball cards. Once youngsters were able to return the bottles themselves for instant remuneration, great headway was made in addressing the perplexing pop bottle problem. An entire generation of kids became more streetwise upon learning how to turn pop bottles into profits. In the spring of 1969, I began my frequent route with my red wagon in tow, collecting bottles as I walked from the Cane Depot along the tracks to the Poplar Street Bridge. From there, I hauled my radio flyer along a well-worn path up to the street level, passing Meckley's Feed Store on the way to Walker's Dairy. I'd collect my cash and make my return trip along the other side of the tracks, gathering more bottles on the way home. In my sights was the purple Huffy Banana Bike I had seen at Cliff's Sporting Goods Shop on Elk Avenue. There was a shining showroom there at the small shop and I can smell the new rubber on those bike tires even today. It was the vision of that shiny purple bike that kept me on my bottle route into the summer of 1969. I don't remember how much yep. money I ultimately yep. oh, earned mute that towards right that now and fancy have on. $40 bike, but at most it must have been about $20. As a reward for my efforts, my grandfather took me to Cliffs to look at that bike again and to make sure that it was still there, even though I told him that I didn't have enough money to buy it. I grabbed the coins that I had rolled in a couple of $5 bills and held my breath when we walked in. I rode that shiny bike home that summer day back in 1969, and I have never forgotten the great pop bottle shortage. Well that's all for now friends. Please send your comments and story ideas to citizencanepa at gmail.com. And thank you for listening. From your weather authority, I'm Jet 24 meteorologist Tom DeVecchio. Here's your Kane area forecast for tonight. Uh, mostly cloudy skies, some showers, and maybe a little bit of wet snow later tonight. No accumulations, and pretty breezy too. Lows in the upper 20s. Morning clouds tomorrow give way to some sunshine during the afternoon. High temperatures near 40. Rain likely on Thursday and breezy with high temperatures near 50. From your weather authority, I'm Jet 24 meteorologist Tom DeVecchio on 1017 XZY. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the Wolves Den. Jim Coppersmith with, here with Caleb Landmesser. We're here at the halftime of the Wolves game. It's 34 Brockway, 32 Kane. We'll run through some quick stats for you here. For the visiting Brockway Rovers, we have Reese Yonner in with eight points. Bradley Hughes with seven. 
Alex Carlson, six. Brady DeMonte, six. Adam Wilcox, five. Aiden Greason, two. They played real well. Broadway they did. has for a young team that they really are. They did. Well, I mean, they're well coached. Coach, uh, coach Clark is a good coach. He's been coaching forever. Um, and, and he's going to always have his guys pretty disciplined. And looking at our wall scare, total of 32 points, led by Landon Dar with eight, Scotty Samansky with seven, Sam Lund, or Ricky Zampona seven, Sam Lundin six, Danny Paul three, but hustling his butt off he tonight. Is. Dane Johnson, Dane Anderson with one. He's also been all over the court. Yeah. So we're 34 32. We're about two minutes to go. Just wanted to give a quick. Uh, call out to the seniors that they honored tonight. Yeah. Uh, Ricky Zampona, uh, son of Sharon and Rick Zampona. Dan Paul, son of Chrissy Thayer and Scott Paul. Landon Dar, son of Corey and Shannon Dar. Scott Zemanski, son of Mike and Deb Zemanski. Caden Smith, son of Nathan and, and Michelle Smith. And the two uh, statisticians over there, Micah Costanza, son, daughter of Bill and Sonia Costanza, and Paige Lehman, daughter of Kim and Tim Lehman. So it's been a nice honor for him. I think uh, Co Coach Corey Dar did a nice speaking engagement. I him praise to. I think he's very happy with his his crew and the, and the yeah. energy the kids, kids have given this year. And that's the thing is like the kids knew going in that it was going to be um, you know a season that is is I guess a little bit similar to to kind of what we did last year, but different from what we've had o over in some recent years. You know, it's going to be some well, a lot a, of basketball. It was a complete turnover. Yeah. You had to a couple of them hadn't played since middle school or ninth grade. Yeah, and, and you know, they, we had uh, seven seniors graduate last, eight seniors graduate last year, um, which was tough. And and that is, uh, anytime that happens, there's going to be holes to fill. Uh, so, mm -hmm. but, but these guys did a wonderful job of stepping up. You know, a lot of guys that are maybe not basketball first guys, they're football guys first or, or baseball guys. Athl athletes. Absolutely. They're, they're athletes. excellent athletes, and they're doing a really good job of capitalizing yeah, on they, that. They have the the passion for sure that's needed. they might have the total ball <laughs> skills but, but they're going to give everything they got every night out absolutely and it, well and I, I think i'd look for that um i think coach dar will probably look to do what you saw in the second half a little bit more might come out in either a three-quarter three-quarter zone press or a full court man press um nothing too aggressive but just to get brockway to make a mistake um, I think Kane came out with a lot of energy the last three or four minutes of that did. second half, or second quarter. Now we'll see what they come out with. They're starting back with Danny Paul, Scott Szymanski, Landon Dar, uh, Sam Dean, and Ricky. Oh, there's a big – let's get back into the flow of things here. 14 is DeMonte. Back to Hughes. Carlson's back in there. He faked the shot. He sat out the whole second period virtually he with did. foul trouble. Throwing it inside, tipped away by Ricky. They tried to get it inside to Yonner, but Ricky went over the top and flipped it out of bounds. So Brock will bring it in. It'll be Carlson inbounding. Ricky switched to the hand in the shooting pocket. Okay, we're going to Grineson. It's way up the way short. Ricky way up to get it. Here's Samaski. A little bit of pressure. Gets it over to Landon Dar. Lay a little bit up the court. Take your time. Don't push it into Sam. I can't use the corner. Danny Paul out to Landon. I think Ricky was calling for it. Sam Lundin off the rim, land way up, blocked out of bounds, and a foul. Ooh, a foul called on Yonner. That's his first. A little home cooking for the Wolves I, here in the den. I'll take it. I didn't quite see that myself, but I was going to say, and I don't think uh, Mr. Yonner saw it either. But Rick, I think you're right. Landon's at the foul line. He'll get two out of that. First shot is good. Well, as uh, the great. Philosopher Rasheed Wallace said, ball don't lie, so apparently it was a foul. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> Landon gets a second one. Shots up. Shots good. Landon in first one in double figures with 10 points. Landon had his foot on the line. Oh, uh, that was a violation, go. so that's not We're taking count. that one off the books. He had a good foul shot, but no, nothing there. Oh, we're still down by one. Now. Yep. Okay, here we go. It's Carlson bringing the ball up the court, covered by Szymanski. A little footwork down here by Del Monte. Inside, big man going up off the rim. Zampon up, blocked again. Off the rim, Zampon up this time and got it. Grandison went up twice hard. Ricky showing All off the All the speed. way, Zampon coast to coast. coast. Look at that. Now and Danny game. Paul coming up with the steal and the foul. And the foul. Look hustle. at that. It's all Danny Paul. The foul is on Hughes. That's Hughes' third. 
Look at it. Danny Paul came up unsuspecting. He's I love it. energy galore tonight. It's that a, is that is. They good. That's away how you coast play to coast. Defense. Danny stole the inbounds pass and was like, then he got fouled. It's like okay. I love it. That's I, that's how you that's well, how Wilcox you earn minutes. Has three. Hughes love has it. three. Carlson has three fouls for Brockway. Danny Paul at the line. Wolves up one. Paul's first shot off the rim. Too much energy. Yeah, there. I think he's a little hyped up. Calm that one down. I think he's a little hyped up. Good effort. Really is. That was. I don't worry. I tried to save your ears and <laughs> everyone from listening at home from me screaming too loud. Danny's second one is good. Wolves up two. Danny's right back up. They're scrapping. Up in full court, giving them pressure. Okay, here See, comes. all these guys are going to be Delmont, able to move. Delmonte's coming. Ricky pushing hard on Big Man. Oh, oh, foul on Sam Lundin. He Wilcox is back in there now. So it's like that's Lundin's first foul. One first team foul for Kane, two for Brockley. Great move by Sam. He just he reached with his inside hand instead of his outside hand. And Corey must have challenged him at halftime because they're they're I think so. there. Hughes inside is the big guy. He's going inside. Well, that's the, a good move by him. Off the rim. I can't see it. He oh, got the rebound again, and then Dar, I think. Uh, yeah, I think it'll be on Landon. It is on Dar. That's his first. Grinison had to position that though. He was inside, missed the bunny, and then got it back. He did. He's going to the line to shoot two. First one. Got the bounce. I, you know, I'm, I'm impressed by Grinison. He um, he was a big body last year too. Uh, but more, pretty much just yeah. that. He really worked on his footwork over the past year, and he's, he's gotten, he's really nice down That's side. That's a nice shot. Right? Okay, we are now tied. 36 36, six and a half to go in the third quarter. Dar brings the ball up for the Wolves. Over to Zampona. He's, mo he's moving, a little carry. He got away with one. Trump. All over the place, over the top. It's like no foul. 14 comes down. That's. DeMonte coming down, gives it back to Hughes. He's bringing it up. Scores tied. Pin down's coming. Paul's on him. Oh, there's a trouble. Ooh. I think he just turned his ankle. Wilcox yeah. just went down. That hurt. That's so unfortunate. He took a step backwards, and the ankle gave way. And ankle just buckled. He's done for the night, I would bet. We'll see, he's I'm a, sure. He's a big boy. Too. He's like a he is. Our athletic trainer, Sam Delcamp. Um, it, that, he went over down there like quick. writhing in pain right there. Just oh, like yeah. Right in front of the Brockway bench. And I, I'm sure anybody watching and listening uh, who's ever played basketball knows that is about the worst pain that you can experience on it's, the basketball court. It's hard court. to recover from, too. It's pretty Once tough. it's weak, it's hard to. Yeah. He's up, but it's like, I think See, he's yeah, pretty he much pretty gender. Gender. I think he's done. I, it would, it would appear so. Yeah, it would appear so, especially being in the third. But. I would say let Sam do her magic, see if she can wrap it up. And uh, Anybody can. That's it. She can. She can. Trained by Crystal, wasn't she? That's yeah. right. That's <laughs> right. She was. She was. Uh, she did her student internship with uh, our former athletic trainer, Crystal Perrette, yep. uh, a few years ago. He's looking inside. He's back to Lundin. Dan Paul. Here comes Scotty. Inside to Danny. He's blocked. Out of bound. Good save. Good save by Lundin. Danny. Back to Ricky. Oh, good save by Landon. Throw it around the outside. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. I would have put all my money on Ricky shooting that ball. <laughs> <laughs> this is Scotty's looking. He's looking. Good ball movement they're by taking, the Wolves. They're slowing it down a little bit. Back in the corner. That's a good shot right There's there. There's Dar, a little shy. Who's got the ball? The big Grinerson coming down. Okay, back to Hughes. Still tied. A little short. Who's coming? Danny Paul's on him. He's taking on the outsider. Back and with Grindison inside. Ah, that's tough. And we got a foul on Ricky. Two shots coming to Yonner. That's Ricky's third. Brockway smartly, I think, is looking to slow and kind of grind this game out. I think um, you'd like if, they, if you're Brockway, you kind of want to get Ricky on the bench because he's he's the dominant force underneath him and Scotty. He's it? he's been he's been really effective this half, especially. Yonner off the back of the rim, no good on the foul side attempt. Could get one more. And Dane's coming in for Ricky now. Dane Anderson. Give him a breather. Dane will bring some energy back. He will. He's, he's got he three will. fouls too though, so it's like <laughs> two Bulls with three and three of the Brockway Rovers with three. Well, he only had two, but then he had to say the magic words <laughs> to the ref. <laughs> He's coached well. <laughs> Yonner's off the rim. They're fighting uh, for him. Oh, good block. But they got a jump ball blocked by Lent. Rebound came down by 
Del Monte. Lundin blocked his shot attempt, and they called it a jump ball. That's solid. That's solid effort, too. So Dane's bringing it back into Landon Dark. Wolf's ball. Coming up. Looks like Rover's still in that 3 2. Stay on the outside. Kane seems like they want to get Lundin way out there. Looks pretty. Hell, oh, in and out of him. One. That's just a defensive breakdown by the Rovers. It's I know Coach Clark knows the Sam Sanford gets the shoot. hot hand. He can take off. We got a timeout by Brockway right there. He scores 39-36. I think I'd like to comment on it. One when that's always big in the Kane Wolves that we have Coach's Rose sitting here. So yeah. If you've ever been to a Wolves game, you see the same faces on the front row for every. It's always my dream to sit in the road behind them. I said just to be at least in that same territory. <laughs> right now we're down to... We're down to just Bill McDade, Ron Carty, and Bob Johnson's moved into the line. That's We're sitting with three here now. This and the, the Jack Groves. That's right. And the Taganis. Oh, and the, my and goodness. And I tell you what, there was there was a, I mean, you know, uh, I, I didn't sit down much uh, when I was on the sidelines, but in my line of sight was always Coach's Row on the opposite of me, and so it was always it's always nice to see the validation when I was complaining that they would also be when complaining. When you didn't have to yell at the ref because they would do it for you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so it saved me from a lot of technicals, I'll tell you that. And, and usually they had a valid point. Of course. <laughs> they were always right. They've been there forever. So. <laughs> we're back in action. Okay, Hughes bring the ball up inside over to Del over to. Grinerson. Cavallini inside to Hughes, inside the big guy. Kept on Lundin trying to fight him off. It looked like a hell off the Ooh. rim. Dar with a rebound, a little bumping in there. But That's a good no call, too, um, on both sides. He went right out. He went straight out. Yeah, he went straight up. Um, that, that was that was a good good basket. Dar's trying to get inside. Back to Dane. He, fight, he wants to be inside. Oh, there's a lot. I think we got, we got away with the travel Yeah, there. we did. Lynn, Lynn Dar in trouble. Yeah, I think that was a dangerous going to drive. Dane's, Dane's got, got happy feet right now. He got hacked. No call. Still on the ground. What are they going to call? There's a pile up. We got a jump ball. Now it is Brockway ball. I'm not sure what you call that, but it was a lot of commotion under in the lane. Yeah. Well, King got away with a couple <laughs> couple travels. Sure so, did. You know, we, we can take it. <laughs> okay. Just over four to go. Pass Ooh. and throw. Well, good save. Ref was in the way. Okay. Hughes on the outside. Covered by Danny. Oh, there's a reach. Danny Paul on the reach in. He's being he's been aggressive. He yes. can't knock it. Yeah, you, you that 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 that's his first, first. I have. It. Okay. Fourth team foul on the Wolves. Kane up by three. Inbounding to Hughes. He's coming across the timeline. Let's see. He's waving him off. He wants the ball. Danny, Danny's right with him. They're trying to get it inside of the big guy. He's got a lot of weight on Sam. He does. He's fighting. Sam tops over the top. Dane hustle, good, great good job by, by great Dane. Great job by He's Dane. He's going coast to coast. He sees it over the top. Well, no, a, no charge. What do we call? It? No, no foul. Oh man, that's rough. That is. Uh, we could have a charge rough. on Dane. We could have anything. Now. There's he Hughes with the reach over the top, up and in, off the rim. No good. Tip up. No good. Man, we are. He's off the rim. Okay. <laughs> Dar with a rebound. Going, a lot, a lot of action. Nothing happened. There's a long pass to Sam. He's going to pop it. In. Bang. Oh, off Ooh, the rim. Look, look good, good from here. Look good too. Del Monte brings it back. Okay, here comes Hughes down the court. The action slowed a little bit, but there's the energy still there. Hughes fighting over to Del Monte. And Grenison. Out to Cavallini. He wanted in the middle again. Big guy's going in. Up off the rim, there's <laughs> Sam way up. Here we go. <laughs> comes Dar. I don't think you're going to out jump Kane. If you go, no. You can out physical him, maybe, <laughs> by the size of. Outside around the rim. Scotty Schumanski going in off the rim oh, hard. That's tough. We're Too hard. Control. Okay, this We've could be tough. Jan's on the move. Let's we'll see what happens here. Hard off the rim. Too much momentum going down the yeah. court. Dar's on the run. Let's see. He's looking. Danny Paul wave for it. He's not going to get it, though. Landon slows it down. Dane's oh, I thought he was going to pump it. Landon looking. Passing across over the corner to Sam Lundin. Or uh, Schumanski. Back to Dane. Slowing it down behind his back. He's looking back to Sam. Over the land, and he's going to pop it. Oh, in and out. Good rebound. Good rebound by Scotty. Samansky, and he gets hacked. 40 is up. Yonner got him there. Good rebound by Scotty Samansky. I think uh, I think Coach Dar might be putting Ricky back in. My guess would be for Danny Paul. 
Just Danny okay. looks like he's a little this tired. This is surprising. Okay, Aiden Wilcox is coming back. He's the, he's the one that went down on the ankle. It really surprised me. That's, so I told we'll you. We'll give credit to the trainer. Magic sponge can of spray. <laughs> Shout out to the World Cup. Samansky. It up and in. Scotty's first point of the second half. Okay, Ricky's in for, he got that for Danny. Great job by Danny. Cavallini leaving for Brockway. Wilcox came back in. Samansky's second shot is good. Good shot by Scotty. Wolf by five, two minutes to go in the third. Landon doing a good job of directing defense. He was coming, he's pushing. They're trying to block the back. Good, good scout. Okay, Scotty's coming. You're not stopping him. Stop, step up. No good. Up, oh, up, oh, and in. He had momentum. I wasn't sure he could stop I, in time. I, I, I tell you <laughs> what, it's, Scotty's got that herky jerky. You, you, you can see him. I'm coming with it. Get out of my way. Okay, here's Hughes trying to work it inside again. Kane's got that figured out by now. What do they call it? It's off of Brockley. Kane's ball. Kane ball. Brockley, that worked in the first half getting inside. Kane's kind of shut that down. Yep, they're doing a good job. Slowly pulling away. Dane into landing. Kane's kind of like solid third quarter here. So. Ricky's in front inside to land, and he's going underneath. That's oh, a block. Ooh, oh, that's a good. That was a good. Oh, what was a little push? We got we got an elbow to Samansky. <laughs> I don't know if it was intentional, but it came up awful high. Now, Yonner's going to get his third foul. Scotty comes up. Put smiling. Scotty on the floor. I don't think he went down too hard. But, <laughs> no, but I, I think Scotty uh, getting ready for the drama uh, club. I don't know what yeah, he had there. Getting was, ready for the Academy Awards. It, lo it looked real. <laughs> The elbow was pretty high. I would say he, he created separation, <laughs> but Scotty might have sold it a little bit. <laughs> About a thousand watt grin coming up on him when, when he stood up. Back to Landon. They're back inside. Scotty wants it underneath with the big guy. They send it out to Ricky. He says, I'm taking the drive. I'm going through him, over him, in, off the rim, and upset with himself. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's tough. You know, that's a, that's He had everything but the front, front the finish there. Oh, yeah. Huge. It's going, there's that steal. Oh, Ricky's oh, messing. Tried to get it into Max. Into Wilcox, didn't quite get there. But Ricky did a good job of, you know, not being too upset about missing that. Uh, the frustration that bunny. there, but he held it together. Isn't yeah, it? And just getting it back on defense. He's coming in for Dane right now. Back, back in. Coach Dar mixing him around pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got, he's got a, a real good lineup he has going on as far as the and minutes Hughes, go. Covered by Samansky in the corner. There's an elder to fight, and he wants it. He's got an open uh, lane. That's tough. No secondary. Off defender. the rim. Over the back on Wilcox. <laughs> Wilcox is earning his He he's is. Earned his foul. He is. Him he's, credit. he's working hard. Energy level is there. <laughs> I love the specs, that's too. That's the goggles. Yeah. I, I got to say, he's, it was a, a young Kurt Rambis. He's <laughs> a little shorter, but he's on his. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Landon Dar bringing it down here. Out to Scotty. They want the lane. Okay, Ricky wants it. He wants the, the bomb off the rim. Danny Paul way up, but it's off of Brockway. It's off of Kane to be Brockway's ball. No, Kane ball. That, Danny went up high. Is that <laughs> or got which end of the court I was on. <laughs> okay. He's looking. Danny wants it inside to Ricky. Up, up and in by Zampona. That's a, that's a tough bucket by, by Ricky. Tough there. angle. Yep. Tough angle. Okay. He was coming down. They, they stopped the, the inbound pass coming from the point pretty well. Good job by Wallen. No, no. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Nothing. <laughs> Big man. Oh, Yonner. No good. I, said, I, I spoke too soon about Scotty. <laughs> Scotty. Scotty immediately flopped. <laughs> I think he slipped. I think he actually went He might have. He might have. He might have. <laughs> Ricky's at two-hander off the rim. Way up. Danny Paul. And he's fouled by one of the big men. 43? Let's see. I tell you what. Uh, That's your player of the game. Yeah, right Danny, now, Danny is setting the tone. He set the tone in the first half. In the second half, he has been that leaving it all on the court. 43. That's his third. That's his. I got him for four. Let's see what. They're going to call it three. So I guess three. only three. Somebody else has a fourth. Then. Let's see what we got. Okay, back inside. Good pump fake by Lando. Sam, he wants it. You don't see that too often. A, a, oh, almost a foul. Good. <laughs> got bumped underneath. 45 36 Wolves. They held him to two points in that quarter. Yeah, that's solid. That was solid. You know, I think the, uh, I think that the, the fatigue.
from uh, playing last night uh, against St. Mary's. It's yeah. working to the Wolves' advantage. Coach Dar obviously knows that. And being able to get on the run a little bit, kind of pressure the Rovers, is really working to Kane's advantage. What's up? Gotcha. And we also want to thank the Friends of the Wolf Pack, uh, Ron and Carrie, Karen Hardy, Jim and Jimmy Coppersmith, Tyler and Katie Smith and family, Rita Graville, Joe and Ellie Sackler, Larry and Peg Anderson, Linda and Keith Regal, Laura and Tom Rich, Craig and Debbie Wilson, Kane Day School, Steve and Marcy Pizak, Patty Scott and Heather Buell, Rick and Carrie Zampona, Basil and Francine and Rob, John and Christy Dawn, special thanks for their generous donation, Jack and Linda Hedlund, Ernest Minster, Emily Truman, Charlie and Paula Amuso, Peter Amuso, and Rod and Anita Danielson. To get your name on the list, drop off your $10 donation at Photo and Sound Shop, or you can also donate via PayPal at wxzyradio.com. Without your support, we wouldn't be able to bring these games to you, the listener. All right, we are back underway in the fourth corner. Here's Ampona with a long three off the rim. Okay, they're going to get back. They were going to run. Here we go. Here comes Carlson bringing the ball down. He's, going, he's trying to go in. Let's see. He's forcing it up. Off the rim, no good. Off comes Samansky. Thing is, Carlson's going to be fresh. Now, well, whether he's mentally fresh. he's fresh or not, we don't know, but he is going to be Landon right Dar, well Way rested. up, way up. Nice basket. That's a great take. Finger roll up at the rim by Landon Dar. Right in over the top. Carlson's coming. He wants right through, and he got what he get. He got a foul, I do believe, on Scott. Yeah, that's and one on the way up. That's a good move by him. I like that, the hesitation into the crossover, picking it up, LeBron in it, and then bringing it back out. That's Carlson's first basket of the half, so he's at the foul line for the, the end one. It's up to, probably going to be up to him whether Brockway comes back or not. Absolutely. I I the mean, rest of them are pretty well running a little bit of steam. They're spent, and he's their best player. Yeah. I mean, they're going to have to ride him Nothing out. Good. Which Kane knows. You know, Coach Dar knows that. I'd, I'd look for them to kind of pressure him a little bit. Here comes Dar bringing the ball down. Let's see here. Slowing the ball, slowing the pace a little bit. Dart inside. Oh, oh, don't fall. That's a great slip by Ricky. They just got to come it. down with it. Coming long. They're coming fast. He's going to shoot it. DeMonte's oh, going right not. through. Drop the ball up. Save up off the rim. Re oh, rebound. Dart. And we had a reach foul. No call. Oh, yeah. Throws it away over here. <laughs> Cross court to Lundin. Brings it in the half court. Over to Danny Paul. He's looking to drive. Oh, pull back out. Ricky sent him, sent him through. There he is. And he's blocked. But Samansky back to Dar. Danny's down on the floor and right back Lundin. up. Bam. Big shot by Sam. Big three for the Wolves. That's a good shot. Nice ball movement on him. Absolutely. That one. Absolutely. Here comes Carlson saving time. He's rolling up the court without touching. <laughs> the, the, but the clock's still Six going. Six and a half to go. That's it. <laughs> I don't think he realized that. No, he did not. Shuts a long one. Off the rim, no good. Big man blocking. Great effort by. Oh, there's a foul. No call. Okay, great effort by the Rovers, though, trying to get They're on trying. the boards. Here comes Dar. Wolf's up by 11. Into Samansky. He's looking. Over to Ricky. He, Ricky wants it. He wants. He wants it big time up there and you in. Go. Really doing a good job they of are. slicing they are. through the defense. Carlson, he's, just, he's saving some time. Looks like. In theory, he is, yeah, but, but they're, they're not letting the him. Ball, the clock sticking fast when he's walking. Carlson, nice drive all the way through, up and in. Might have been the end one there, too. Here comes Dar back. Wolves up by 11. Slowing the pace, trying to looking for the bench for some help, getting no guidance here. <laughs> <laughs> it's in it. Oh, overshot. Oh, come on, Danny. Danny Paul, he's going to get a jump ball. It might, is this the Wolves? No, it's going nah, to it's gonna go to Brockway. Danny went up over top of three people <laughs> to get that ball, though. I think Danny might have a double-double with Where rebounds and steals six. tonight. Okay. Here he comes. Carlson wants. He's going all the way. Up and in. Nope, off the Man. bounce. Over the back, we got no call. We're giving it Kane Wolf's ball. Carlson brought a little bit of energy to the team. He did. You can just he see did. it. And, and, you know, the, the Wolves aren't out of the woods yet. You know, no, it's another run no. right here. <coughs> Good screen. Let's see what they go. Make sure we take care Get of the ball. Get it over. Take your time. Take your time. Ricky's feet are moving. Easy. Don't force it. What do we call? What's the call? I think that's all. It could be anything. Oh, wow. Oh, I think. I, oh, he's upset. He is upset. 
That could have gone. Look, he's he's he's, he's going to get a he's got to go to the locker room. He's going to get a technical. He's yeah. going out of here. I think he had a rightful call. I though. think he did too. Like I I, he lowered his shoulder. I love right Ricky right. to death, but that was definitely. He's, he's in the locker room right now. Now I just he's coming back. He's back here smacking the wall. Hey. He had, better than saying something. Was, yeah, you I think do what you got to do. Let it go. Let you know. He's obviously the energy level. I need your bunny, the bunny of the. Okay, what are we doing here? We got a timeout in the making. He probably, he probably left the floor. Oh yeah, somebody, that's so, true. Without coming, somebody coming in, or they didn't check in. Yeah, he didn't check in. He just so blew he off just, the he floor. Just left. Right? What are we calling her? Is that a technical? Is, what are they I doing think there? that that would be a technical <coughs> the illegal substitution. I thought the ref was coming to ask Coach's Row what the answer was. <laughs> he was heading that way. Now I'm sure we just got uh, about one 100 one, different one emails questioning our our, uh, our <laughs> rules knowledge. I don't think I experienced that during my tenure. He's coming back slowly. Not looking too happy, though. That's tough. He's it's got, tough. Oh, you know. it is. And I get and it. It's, you know, it's, it, it's tough. You know, it calls don't go your way. It, it can be frustrating. Unfortunately, you know, it's just you got to keep your head in it. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, Danny. Pulls Danny effort. keeping it alive. Effort. Danny keeping it alive. Zimbra off the rim. That one's not coming down. Rebound by. Now I got to get back. coming down. He's coming deep and good close out by Ricky. Right. There's lead by his shoulder there. Sure. Big man. Up. Oh. Too hard. We got a foul on. I don't know about the foul. He's even there. Lundin got called for the foul. Yeah. I'm not sure I saw that one, but I think he might have bumped him. Could have. Could have. Bumped him off his spot on the way up. That's Sam second. The Wolf sixth. That'll put Yonner on the line. 442 left in the in the game. 53-41 Wolves. Yonner's for two. First one is good. Second shot by Yonner, off the rim. Oh, rebound by Brockway, off the rim, and we got a foul over the top, I think, by Sam Lundin. Again, let's see. Yeah, I think you're right. From the back side, that's Sam's third. Three Wolves with three fouls now. Put Grinison on the line now for two shots. And that's not something that you want to do if you're no. Kane. Uh, you know, putting them at the line, stopping the Those clock. Are just freebies, that's it. First and they're hitting good. Them. Yep. You know, that's something that we, you can't do. Dane Anderson coming, checking back in for the Wolves. Uh, Scott Szymanski checking out. Scott playing hard. A uh, lot of hustle minutes, which is yeah. what we like to see from Scott. Second shot is off the back of the rail. Got the bounce again. That's two of those I think he's had. And a timeout, timeout by Coach Clark. Clark. Let's see what happens out of this timeout. This ought to be interesting here. It's been an entertaining game. Today. It has. It has. I tell, I tell you what, I don't know if Coach Dar and Coach Truman would tell you the same thing. <laughs> they like to see the score get away and away and away from each other, but uh, that margin is, uh, is hard to, to make larger. You got, a, you got a feel for Alex Carlson a little bit, I think. Yeah, it, yeah. I had a rough go in the first half and the second half. It's, I, I tell you, the, the Wolves are probably thankful that he's been a, a little bit out of it uh, mentally today. Uh, you know, so. it's, it's tough. You never like to see. You always like to see everybody having a good time, you know, playing as hard as you can. Uh, but, but you know, like when it when the whistle blows, you know, it is what it is, and it's done. Uh, but you know, they're also they're high school kids. Sometimes emotions get the better of you. You, know, you can't you can't hate them for life. For them. You gotta believe you either played soccer or football in there. Both those teams were Brock were, were pretty physical, pretty knowledgeable, pretty cocky, pretty. Uh, they knew how to handle. Uh, they're, they're tough, tough minded. Absolutely. And you see the energy level. He's, Upset with, oh, with the result sure. for the situation, the whole survey. Oh, of course. A little bit out of his control there. It was like he didn't. Yeah. I think I rightfully think he's. Yeah, that last one, I think he was a little justified. But, I think so. You know. I think so. <laughs> but it, it, you know, I things was even out. That's that's what I always used to say is that is that you know even if things do are a little bit egregious here and there, one call isn't going to win mean, or lose you the game. Some games you see, you wonder. I mean, is sure. it one side? But this definitely hasn't been tonight. No, it's no, it's been it's been. Really fairly officiated, great a, crew. Tonight. A lot of nice drive by Landon Dar into the middle. He's really had good touch around the rim. They are. Okay, they're going to put Wilcox back in there again now. He's, he is. He's ready to go. He's a gamer. Okay, Hughes with the ball. Let's see here. Oh, almost a travel. Almost a travel. He's going to say a travel. Yeah, almost was, and he did. 
I tell you what, I, gi I give um, this Hughes, uh, Hughes a lot of credit um, for being a freshman, you it, know, taking it falls junior on his shoulders to yeah. control his tempo, it, especially with uh, Carlson on the bench. Yeah, oh, absolutely. It's all on him now. He's Dari, Ricky, I can see him, see it in his eyes. He wants, oh, Dane, take your time, run, run some clock off now. The seniors want to, they have their moment here. They do. Darcy Selene back to Zampona. Launches it off the rim. I thought we had another rebound. We got a foul. Might be on, might be on might Sam be on again. Sam, it's one of the two of them. Sam's head's down. I'm not sure where we're going. <laughs> Number two, maybe Danny Paul. That's his Danny. That's his yep. second. Eighth team foul for the Wolves. They still have four minutes left. So that, <laughs> that double bonus could prove costly here if they get to that point. Bradley Hughes too, and he's, uh, he's got his, he got the mark down. He he's got the uh, oh, other got that rim. Oh, my. oh, I thought we were gonna get the shooters roll again. His call. It's gonna stick with Brockley. Yep. I'm not sure who that was off. Okay, Scotty Samansky back in. They're giving Daniel Danny Paul a break. In the vein of uh, Brockway having <coughs> freshman run the point. Uh, yeah. There's, there's Bradley Hughes he's going. He had an opening. Oh, oh, uh, uh, it's a big one. Bit of an oh, elevator off the rim this time. Ricky says, "I'll take that one." Good, good Slow box down. out by Kane there. One, Landon Dar over to Ricky. He's going right through. Up too hard off the rim. He's up to fight. Oh, it's a. <laughs> that's it. That's a good effort. That's a good effort by Ricky taking it in. The energy. Hughes is looking. Where am I going with this? Where am I going? Just, hey, Dane's on him. He's coming to find the lane. He got it too. Good for him. Off the that's rim. A good take. Here comes Dane. He's on the move. He wants it. He's going through all the coast to coast around Wilcox and puts it in. He tried to take the charge, but you got to take the contact first, unfortunately. Dane's first basket there. He had one foul shot early on. Oh, what do we call her? We got a oh, foul, foul on Scott, on Landon Dahl. Scotty Samansky. Scotty Samansky. That's Scotty's third. Ninth team foul on the Wolves. <laughs> Wilcox being talked to by the coach here. We'll see. And this is where if you're Kane, you got to be careful uh, not to play into the physicality no, no. that 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 Rockway Rockway's going to try to. You know, not in any way that's 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 nefarious certainly, but you want oh, to yeah. take chances in, in this situation. They're, now they're or making never. hay in their foul shots, are they? Yep. Second one off the rim. Who's going just way up over the back? This, oh, my. Uh, Rockley working hard. Up and in by. That's, that's not what you wanted if you came. That's Grinison again. They're cutting into the lead. It's only yeah. it's 10 points with three minutes to go. They ain't going to slow it down. Let's see. Bleed some clock if you can here. There's no rush. He's, I don't think Kane wants to do that. He wants another. Throw it away. Nope. Pass it around. Hold it up. Hold it up. <laughs> Sam <laughs> says, I'm shooting Sam will off shoot the it. rim. Landon, way up. Let's see. Bring it back out. Gonna get fouled. No, he didn't get fouled. Dane says, I'm going in. Off the rim. Ricky says, I'll oh, bring it back up. Kane's doing go. a good job They're hitting the boards offensively. They are. That's, there's really no need to be shooting like they are. No. They're, they, they're off. <laughs> Dark no, drove and throw it off a block. <laughs> it's like you've got to lead. Milk that clock it's a little a, bit. It's a good way to uh, put Whoop. gray hair on your coach. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good, nice that's pass a good, to Zampona. good screen to screen. Was, Dan, was that Dan Paul into the pass? I don't know. Very nice. Okay, here he sees the lane. He's going it. Waited for the pass into the big man. Up and in. Well, it was Yonner on that one. Yep. Kane's letting them get underneath too easily right now. It's like they're hoping they have a big enough lead <laughs> to hang on. Guard behind the back. Slow it down. Oh, slow good it job down. hammering slow nails down. by Landon. Here we go. Ricky Zampon way out front. He's going in again. And up and in. I don't, I think the kid only knows one speed. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. And it's go. <laughs> <laughs> and he does most of it very well. It's a big throw off the rim. There's Hughes oh, lost the ball. Tough. Here comes Sam Lundin. Look, he's got Danny Paul, but he missed him. Ricky says, I'll take it. Foul by, oh, Max. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a foul by Wilcox. Mr. Wilcox <laughs> is done. He's, he had a, is that five on him? I think it is. He earned his spots, I do believe. Let's he see did. what they put it up on there. Oh, that got him at four. Okay. I would have said that was five. 
Maybe okay, give him two we'll, for we'll that. Let him off the hook. We'll give him. <laughs> That was a good, this is a good high quality foul. He's it went up and He's earned his keep today. <laughs> Ricky with his foul shot. Has to be the most awkward shot I've ever seen, but he's usually very accurate with it. I, I tell you what, I saw I saw Ricky in the in the community center weight room the other day, and he's he said, uh, shot's ugly, but it goes in. I said, hey, you know, as long as it goes in, that's what matters. Well, second, there's Danny Paul. Danny Paul with the rebound. <laughs> Oh, threw it away. Ah. Mr. Hughes stepped in right. Danny says, I want it back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to drive. Toss it up a little shy on the rim. Let's see. Here comes Danny. He's moving. He feeds Ricky. Up and in. I'm surprised Ricky didn't go this for is, the dunk there. This is Dan Pona's nine-point quarter here. This is I like, love it. I love it for him, too. It's, yeah. it's always good to see the ball Hughes go. Going, the he's going in. No, he's not. He's off the rim. Who wants it? Oh, Wilcox. Oh. What's the call? He's looking, ref's looking, he's pointing at Hughes. Must be on, is on Dane? It's on Hughes. I think it was on Hughes. Uh, I think he said it was a hold. Ninth foul on Brockway. It is on, it's a third on Hughes. I got him for four, that's where we miss it, somewhere. We're not, I didn't we're not see agreeing it. with the scores table. Okay. All righty. Down to a minute. Caden Smith back in the game for Dane Anderson. Are the seniors all back in? Let's see here. Yeah, I think so. Yep, they're all back. In the landing, he's clear. I'll break it myself. Oh, there's a break. Here's Danny. Nice feed. Caden, Caden, get up. Oh, off the ring. He gets fouled. He gets fouled. They want him on the scoreboard. 24, fouls on Hughes. Let's see how many that is on him. <laughs> That's four for you. Caden Smith, let's see if he can pump this in. I got a good feeling about this one. <laughs> oh, off the back of the, the road. next one. He'll get one more here. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. Vinny Cavallini going out. Del Monte coming back in. One more for Caden. Off the rim. They're going to fight for it. Oh, Zar saves it. Oh, no, he doesn't. Good try. <laughs> <laughs> Landon Dar um, saved by the younger generation of Kane Wolves uh, on, on the on The, the rest of the Dar family out there. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of them. I think, I think his Preston little brother Preston yeah. uh, might be able to outbench him. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty strong here, kid. Here comes Hughes. He says, I'm going to go in. I need a chance. Blocked by Sam Pona. Oh, that's a good Hughes went up strong and Zampona went stronger. That's a good defensive Straight play by up, Ricky. Knocked into the bleachers. 36 seconds left in the clock. The Wolves are, the seniors are having a good time right they now. They are, they are. Here they come. Let's see, Brockway's ball on the baseline. 36 seconds left. Long, way off the rim. That's, that hit back, let's see if they can save it. Wilcox is back, back court. It's going to be the Wolves ball with 30 seconds left. Uh, my guess is they're going to run a play for uh, for Caden. Caden. Yep. He's in the corner. Maybe that's his shot. Might be. He's looking. Get it to him. Okay. Scotty brings it in to Landon. Holding the holding the ball. Almost a. I like the pressure Scottie. by the Rovers. I like that. Back to Scotty. They're Always looking for Caden. They're going the other way with it. Let's see. So to Ricky. He's going to get fouled. Oh, but don't bother fouling. He's going to foul. Granison. Fouls Ricky. I'm not sure what the purpose of that was. <laughs> got to play to the whistle. Right. Always play through. Let's see what we got here. Four fouls. I think half the team has four fouls for Brockley. I think you're right. I think you're right. Ricky's it's, on the line. It's a situation where, you know, Kane came out, played really hard, but but Brockway, combination of fatigue, but also just. Really, that's the thing. Yeah. Ran out of gas. And yeah. Other than. Well, Carlson's only had the energy left at the end. And he's yeah. he played well right to the end. He did. He's, he's a good player, and that's, that's a tough situation. Ricky, six and four. 11 points in the quarter for Ricky. That's <laughs> man. He's got a big man. second half. He, he, now the clock hasn't moved. Now now he's like, <laughs> I think the scorekeeper just learned that one. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, we're going to have to get on you over there. It's I like think you might be right. I think you might be right. Oh, feeding it inside to nobody. Oh, oh Dar, he's got seven. Can make his last basket. No. 
He's going to let it run out. And they're going to let it go. And they're being, they're shaking hands. There we go. Yep. Very welcome. Nice effort by the Wolfson. It was. Okay, we're going to send it back to the studio right now, Joe. We'll get you back. We'll get some stats done, then we'll come back and close it out. Basketball on 101.7 XY is supported by these great sponsors. Allegheny Eye Care, providing eye exams along with additional coverage for eye and health situations in Comfort, Kane, and Smithville locations. They can be reached at 814-837-7880. Field Street Boots, 18 Field Street at Kane. A dealer for Carhartt and Timberline Clothing, as well as Winter Footwear and Sporting Boots. They're on Facebook under Field Street Boots. Processing, pulp, and paper industries. HighlanderEnergy.com. Cane Lumber and Fuel, True Value Hardware. Building supplies, light bulbs, winter snow, and ice removal products, and more. Hemlock Avenue in Cane. Rich Dallas of to 49 and a great effort by the seniors. Started a little slow. Broccoli kind of ran out of gas a little bit. They played hard. They have a young team. Nothing to be ashamed about. Let's run some stats quick and then we'll give you a quick rundown on the seniors again who are leaving and we'll head you out of here. So, the Wolves then, so for the Broccoli Rovers, we have two guys, with Alex, Alex Carlson who's in foul trouble all night. He ended up with 11 still as a tied for the high score. Reese Yonner had 11 with him. Aiden Grenizen had eight. Bradley Hughes, seven. Aiden Wilcox, seven. Aiden Wilcox is a freshman. He was the entertainer. Yeah. He, you he know, came in with lots of energy. And, I mean, he got himself in I liked it. banging I, here and there, banging there. He had a lot of uh, a lot of court awareness, which is good to see as a 14-, 15-year-old. Him and uh, Bradley Hughes is, are, are not somebody that uh, I'd look forward to facing over the next no. three years. They, 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 they both they played a, really they well. They a bright future there. Yep. And looking for the Wolves, Ricky Zampona had a huge second half. He ended up with 22 on the night after seven and a half time. Landon Dar was in with 13. Sam Lundin, 12. Scotty Samansky, 11. Dane Anderson had three. Dan Paul had four. I don't know how many boards, how many steals. It was all over the floor. He, he was the energy tonight. And, and, and you know, that's, saying that isn't fair to everybody else. With, they all with, played hard. With how hard everybody played. But the intensity, it, they flipped a switch. Once they, they got into a press, in the end of the second quarter, um, and that that energy stayed with the Wolves the whole rest of the game. They did. And, and, and that, that really is when the Wolves began I to mean, build a lead and separate. They scrapped. They played hard the second half. But it seemed no matter where you went, Danny was in the middle of it. Yeah. And yeah. It was, he, did, he did an awesome and, and job. And Scotty's, like, always there. So it's yeah. like they got to give him credit. It was a great senior outing. Just to go over again, the last night for those seniors, Ricky Zampona, Dan Paul, Landon Dar. Scotty Szymanski, Caden Smith, along with the statisticians, Micah Costanza and Paige Lehman. And we haven't seen a whole lot of Danny Paul for the year <laughs> on the, on the, in, the, in the headlines. That's the kind of things that, I mean, they don't stand out. I love it, man. I, I, I coached Danny for, for, I mean, well, three years in high school and when he was coming all up uh, in the program before that as well. And uh, I obviously love the kid, but it is, uh, it's, it's, it's awesome to see him, the effort that he put in and all the work that he put in over the past you know, it, it, three years really lead to um, a lot of production, well-deserved playing time this year. Well, we got to say this is—we don't know who'd be announcing tonight. We had no—we <laughs> we had nobody <laughs> till noon today. That's Caleb true. Caleb and I have both sat in the second chair forever. Neither one of us had 
taking the controls, I guess you'd call it. We're just, Not we quite. decided if we can share it together, we might get through it. <laughs> I said it's been fun. It's been good. We've had John Carnivali back here in the back helping us out, out back here. <laughs> Joe Szymanski back in the in the in the uh, in the office back there it's, it's been a fun time it, it was a good time i have to say this um watching the game like this is much better for my heart rate uh and my blood pressure than uh than being on the sidelines or being uh, in the stands I, there was I a few calls you. where i'm sure if caleb would have been on the other side of the bleachers <laughs> he might have followed uh i don't might know have followed mr carlson out to the locker room I don't L- listen <laughs> I, I i have to say i don't know what you're talking about i don't think there's any <laughs> video evidence of me doing these things so we'll, we'll, but, we all know it was good <laughs> Coach Dar held himself in check pretty well. There he was did. A, I think the Brockway coach might have had a few questionable <laughs> calls there, and he had to deal with a frustrated, you know, yeah. player. But and, and I it thought he, they handled the game, it well the though too. You know, I thought it, but, I thought it was well. But I would say Brockway has a bright future from what I saw. Tonight. They do, they do. It was it was a good it was a good uh, it was a good game here. Uh, definitely a bright future for Brockway, uh, but a solid win for the Wolves. Yeah, it's it a good closeout good for the seniors. Now, they still have Brock. They still. Have Johnsonburg here on Friday night. I'm not yeah. sure. Johnsonburg and then at Cranberry on Monday, which is always tough to get on that one and a half hour bus ride and uh, play in that beautiful gym down in Cranberry. We don't know who's bringing it Friday, if we're bringing it. We haven't heard too much yet. <laughs> Maybe Joel will be in her ears before we're done. I have no idea. <laughs> but other than that, like I said, Cranberry away and then no idea, he says. So we're still, that's up in the air right now. <laughs> we'll see. Like I said, we had nobody tonight just with people with conflicts, that's people true. being out of town. And I said we got last minute fill ins. So but it was it's solid. been fun. We'll do it again sometime. I think so. So thanks for uh, 